Hey. Hey. It's Little Black Learn. A podcast by two teens. Enjoy. Enjoy. Hey guys, it's Alefia and Rashida. And today we're doing a mix of kind of both. Of wings. like a winged and kind of a plan down. And then, uh, so don't forget, first before we start, um, don't forget to follow us on IG and TikTok at Little Black Learn Podcast. And we post every other Sunday, so yeah. And we're also switching off who's doing the intro this week, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I get to talk for once. No, I'm just joking. Hey. Okay. So yeah. So, so I said it was going to be like winged and kind of that because we're kind of thinking of topics to do and we, I kind of was suggesting like we do like a kind of like inspirational, I guess you could say, or like a moving forward or like quotes and stuff that, and like why we have quotes. Like um, positivity, um, you yeah, know? Yeah, sort of. So, um, okay, have you come up with any quotes or she likes? I know you have. Oh, yeah, I have just like a bunch of quotes. Oh, speaking of quotes, on our Instagram, if you haven't guys already realized, um, uh, we're doing this thing where we're posting a quote, motivational quote every Monday. Mm-hmm. So, I we post it on our store and then we put an Instagram post of that. So, like, let us know if you like that, because I feel like that's kind of a go, like a good thing, like, you know, motivational quote to start off with your week. Yeah. So, the motivational quote that I posted, um, I think it was, like, a couple of weeks back. Okay, so the quote that I posted, like, a couple of weeks ago, it was, Your Monday morning thoughts set the tone for your whole week. See yourself getting stronger and living a f- fulfilling, happier, and healthier life by Germany Kent. I think that's such a good quote, like, uh, to start off your week on a strong, positive, and high note, because, like... Because I feel like everyone starts on Monday, they're like, Ugh. oh, it's Monday. But no, like, if you start like, start off your Monday, like, like come strong, on. like, I can do, like, I can do, like, go get your attitude, that's how your day and your week is going to be. Like, it's all about your mindset, honestly. Like, if you have a good mindset, then your week will be good. Mm-hmm. But if you have a bad mindset, your if, week will be, like, yeah, not the like best. I feel a lot of... People like I don't know about a lot of people, but people like me who are like get overwhelmed by the like littlest things are like um are, like just overthinkers. They kind of like they look at small things as a lot of stuff to do because they don't know how to handle it. And I, like I feel me, like, so I feel like a good way to start off your morning, no, like like just to just, think like you're gonna do this then we can worry about this yeah and also i feel like every morning like what you should do if you are somebody who gets stressed out easily is like say a positive affirmation to yourself and just say things like i am strong i'm beautiful today's gonna be a great day but don't be like quirky about it and be like kind of cringy it sounds it sounds cringy but just if you if you are really honest with yourself and you say that then you're going to believe it and it's just like if you have a positive mindset about everything then it's gonna like show and like the way you handle things and and yeah and it's also like yeah, it's also like the first decision of your day is like the it kind of sets a mood for the rest of your day because if your first like this thought of the day is kind of like half minded that's going to like portray into the rest of the things you do in your day mm-hmm. and also um like like it's okay to have some negative stuff because again if you just have if you, positivity in your life you're not, not going to know like what yeah. how much worse it could be because you have to have, like... Like, you have to have a balance of both. Yeah. So you have to hit the lows to see the highs. Or otherwise you're just going to live, like, a plateau life and just, like, have to know, like... Yeah. You don't know how much better life could be. And you might not know how much worse your life could and be. And also, like, I feel like the whole reasons for quotes are, like, other people... Maybe, like, you don't know where these quotes have come from. These can, quotes can have come from failures. And not everything comes from... Like, just, like... Not, not all flowers comes from come from healthy growing trees you know like you can have a dying tree and then have a flower come out of it like you know like i come up with a few quotes myself like um like don't judge yourself like don't look at yourself and be like i'm only one person because i came up with this quote i don't know it might already be a quote but if martin if martin luther king or any other important person in history looked it questioned themselves on like can i change the world we wouldn't be living in the world we are i have a quote like that like you cannot judge yourself on how much you can do without even trying yeah like if you say oh i can't do this but you haven't even tried you might not know 
what you can do. Like, if you don't even try, you might not know your, like, if you're not putting in your full potential, then you might not know how much and better you can do. You might life. be putting your physical full potential, but you have mm-hmm. to have, like, the A mind. men- mindset. Like, you can't be like, oh, this is impossible. I don't have the money or I don't have this. You can always come up with excuses. Like, But if you really want to do it, like, deep down in your heart, if you really want to do something, you will do it. Like, this podcast, like, um, we had, for our first episode, we had technical difficulties and stuff. And I spent, like, two hours trying to make it work. But eventually, I realized um, the way I set this up was entirely wrong. So then I came up with a game plan, and ha- and I figured out like how moving forward I could do this better and how I can make this easier to edit and upload. And sometimes it seems like oh like what is the good gonna come out of this? But uh, like so much good could come out of this. Like right yeah. now we're recording and I, I just feel so happy because I'm recording with my best friend and it's just amazing. Like you can uh, you could achieve so much if you just put your mind to it and you don't live this fifty fifty half life. Yeah, like, like you're not gonna say, "Oh, I'm gonna do homework for five hours and I gotta watch TikTok for three hours." No, you. If you're living that like fifty fifty life, it's not. You're not gonna like, be able to no, reach your full potential. Your life isn't gonna be always fifty fifty percent. Like you, it's either it's always maybe sometimes it'll be fifty fifty, but it's always gonna be unbalanced. But and so you need that balance. You can't unbalancedness because. You can't, as much as you want to, and as much as you try, you're not always going to have that 50-50. And some days, <laughs> some days, it might just be a really, like, go, go, go. I wake up in the morning, I have to go to school, I have to go to cheer practice, and I have to do this, and then... Cheer I, practice. I, it's just a random schedule. Like, your day sometimes could be so packed, but, oh, it's, yes, it's good to have, like, a packed day, and it's good to, like, have things to do, but also just, like, remember... Remember that it's also really important to like leave time for yourself at the end of the day. Like maybe if you okay, have a you really won't, you won't always be able to do that. You might not always be able to, but at least like maybe when you're like going to bed or in the morning before you leave the door, just do something really quick for yourself. Maybe it's say something positive to yourself or, or maybe just make yourself a morning cup of coffee or can, like you some i know i know like once you're like in school and stuff you really have no time sometimes you don't even get sleep mm-hmm. but like literally if you can't even do that make at least one of the things you're doing whether it's homework or like it's schoolwork make that those make, the, make those things for you yeah not like for, let's say in school at least we get to choose electives and yes, you have like those five classes that you have to take, which are mandatory, which you might not enjoy. But we get to choose like two or three classes, but make those two or three or even one class or, that you, know, you choose something that you can look forward to every day. Or even if you don't get to choose your classes, like make those things happy. enjoyable for you. Like make like it's always hard to adapt to new things and like. But that's what's great about humans is we can adapt things like this quarantine. We adapted to it. Well, some of us. Some of us. But you have to learn to think. Intelligence is being able to adapt to something. And if you can't adapt to something, maybe you should learn how to do it. And it's going to take time to adapt to something. But once you do, it will be worth it. Okay, um, so, like, there's also, like, okay, so here's the thing. We're telling you about how to adapt and how to do this. But, the, again, there's, like, so many different criteria and so many different, like, Situ- it's like no matter like you can be super motivated or you can be super like down so like any advice you give it's not specific so don't take it specific i can't specific. even say that word <laughs> so like it's just life is i saw this quote somewhere i don't know but life is a test you haven't studied for so <laughs> live it. you're just living like you're going to encounter things that you might not have even thought you could encounter but there's always going to be challenges in life your life is never just going to be easy peasy you're going to face challenges in your life and you might face daily challenges or you might face like you'll you'll always face challenges in your life and your life will never be easy it's how you it's how you handle them it's how how you handle those challenges once you tell yourself like this isn't that hard or like i can just split it up it it literally becomes so much easier like Literally, all your problems disappear. Yeah, it's going to take time for you to realize that. And you're going to be so annoyed because, like, every you person... Want, you want instant results, but sometimes you might not, not get instant Not even instant results. instant results, but, like, 
everyone's telling you, oh, it'll be okay. And like, oh, you have to go through this. But like, you seriously do. Like, I know you're like, literally like, yes, but again, excuses. You can come up with excuses to, for whatever you want. Even if it's like the hardest thing ever, like you've lost someone in your family or you've lost someone important, take their loss or take whatever it is and use that as motivation. Like they would want you to do something or my old self would want me to do this or like the person I want to be would want me to do this. Like there's so many things in life to motivate you. So yeah. You were saying on this, Rashida? <laughs> so it's like you're always going to have a downfall, but just always have you always have a one person. If it says a brother annoying, you as annoying as your siblings to be, you will always have somebody there to cheer you on. And even if you don't, like it's okay. You just need yourself. Yeah. You need if you don't have your you cannot love you cannot make anyone else happy if you if you don't love yourself if you cannot make yourself happy you cannot make anyone else happy and you cannot love anyone else and the truly like even if it's something that you've lost is like some like if nothing makes you happy anymore like a hobby then you have to then then you drop it like let's no, say no 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 don't drop it because I, no was she that if you're doing something in life and it's not making you happy or if you're just getting stressed out of that and it's optional like let's say oh i'm going to cheer practice but every day I go to your practice, I just get stressed about learning this routine and I, and you don't enjoy it like you used to, then drop it and find a new hobby that you will enjoy. Because otherwise you want to like, no, be on your deathbed and be like, oh my gosh, I did 10 years of cheer practice and I hated every single year. No, or do you want to be on your deathbed and be like, wow, I did five years of cheer and I enjoyed it and then I dropped it because I didn't like it anymore and I started to do Drawing. A drawing or an art. I and I loved it. No, but if nothing's making you happy, that means you should be starting to focus on yourself, like truly yourself. Like who you are as a person. Because you are you can, again, not love anything, whether it's a hobby or it's anything. You if need you need self love. Yourself. Like if you don't have self love, then and you can't do anything. And you can't love another person. You can't love your friend you, if you don't even love yourself. And here's the thing no matter how much you try in something and like no matter how much you think you love something and you don't love yourself then question yourself on this why are you doing it because you want to do it and you do technically love yourself and self-love comes in many many different ways if it's caring for your health then maybe that's what it is but like it's different things anyways i think we should also talk about something other than this because I know it's also like really weird on the internet. Everyone's so like sad that there there's like that five percent of people who are actually, or maybe it's more than five percent. I'm just making up a random number, but there's that little bit of people who are actually so happy, but they don't know. They're like brought kind of down with all the other down people. So like, let's talk about something positive. Now. Yeah, we're gonna end this episode on a positive note. We still have a little um, bit. So something I want to talk about is how much joy this podcast is currently bringing right, right now. Because I know I've been talking, but like this podcast is a huge, huge thing for me and currently in my life. Because like I've always wanted to do this. Like I love listening to podcasts, and I've always wanted to be part of like this, like world of like podcasting and stuff. And to finally be doing it, it's amazing. And I just want to remind you, like right now we don't even have any fancy equipment. We're we're literally, literally doing it off our phone. Yeah. And then we're gonna like edit it using like iMovie, and we're not even using that much fancy equipment. But, like, that just shows you don't need the, like, newest, like, mic or or camera or something to do something. You can just use your iPhone. Like, yeah. (laughs) And you can do so much. Yeah, we, like, I feel like people really underrate phones and technology itself. Like, like, yeah, we, we put technology as something so small when it's, like, it literally can hear, can see, you can edit, you can change, you can... Do, do so, so much, much. With, and it can bring and so much good like you should always have like a you balance should, in your life like, yeah. of course social media is such a huge thing in our society technology and you will you will never be able to take away technology because it's just part of society it's kind of scary in that way but yeah but, but maybe it, if you have a balance and if you have a healthy relationship it's like having a healthy relationship with anything in your life whether food friends 
family, sports, with sp sports, anything. You have to have a healthy relationship with social media. Like you don't want to overuse it, and but then you also don't want to be like clueless about and it. And make it when you use it, make it so it's used for something good. Yeah, and and let's say you have Instagram or Snapchat or Twitter. And if you're following, right now, check. If you're following anybody who makes you feel down about yourself. Or you're forced to follow. Or, or you feel fo like so many people follow them. Mm -hmm. So you need to. And if you, if they make you feel bad about yourself, or if you personally don't like them, unfollow them. And follow people who are good. We sound like, like old people telling us what to do. <laughs> no, and it's, no, it's, it's, but this is so relevant though. Like, follow people who make you feel good and people who are inspir who inspire you to do something in like your daily life. Mm -hmm. Like you for know, example, I follow Emma Watson. <laughs> no, not only because she's an actress, because she's a sin, she, she's because she's so much more than that. She's a feminist. She's done so much. And also or, like, like fe feminist. Not only does also, also another person I follow is Amanda Gorman. Oh my she, god, she's she, amazing. She's she, amazing. She I didn't really even know who she was before the. Um, presidential inauguration, but after that, like I started following her, and now she is such an amazing young woman. Like she's only 21, 22, I think, yeah. and she gave, a, like she, she sent a call in front of the entire United States, and it was really good. It was so. She was good. the youngest. Again, and inspiration could come from the oddest of places. Like, it could even be like I got the inspiration for the podcast because my sister was listening to some murder like thing, and it was really spooky. But you know, and <laughs> and okay, sorry. And like my inspiration came from a very weird place, and so can yours. So like yeah, just yeah. Like yeah, five people can inspire you. They don't even have to be famous. They could just be like literally anybody. It could be your your like your best friend's older sister can inspire you. <laughs> And it's like, an inspiration, a lot of, inspiration, sorry, not inspiration, <laughs> inspiration can come from a lot of things. Like, most of the time I feel like it comes from bad experience because that's what teaches you lessons that you want to share with others. And again, everyone teaches you, tells you stuff, and and it, the goal isn't for your life to be perfect from it. Your oh, goal, your life the will never is be perfect. The goal is to make you... Think person, about a this. Stronger person. Yeah, like there will be hundreds of quotes on the internet. Now, you can it's, only apply so many, and you can only actually think about so many at a time. And you will like realize those quotes as you're living in it and in the time. And also, like side from the inspiration, let's say also going back to like, the social media thing. And if you're following people, and if people. If you let's say if you comment on somebody's post, this happened actually. Oh months, my god. Um, and if people start giving you hate. Oh, ignore it. Ignore it. Literally ignore don't it. Don't even reply because because I heard this thing. Why yes, are you giving? Why why are you giving? Why are you replying to somebody who's yeah. being mean to you when there are a hundred of other people who are trying to be nice to you and you're not replying to them? That's Honestly, not fair. I should take that. Yeah. Yeah. Don't reply because to the haters. Because of, all they want, they the haters are only hating like. Because they might be seeing how good they, your life is it's probably be. Or they, might or they, feel, just, they just. Or they're insecure about their own self. Or they just don't know how to agree with you. Because, like, it can be the simplest thing. Like, maybe you don't like a character that's being portrayed in the video. And a lot of, and you comment, like, oh, he's or she is. Not, I don't like him. Don't or like that. If someone's replying to you, then A, they don't have the maturity. And B, okay, it's kind of your fault for posting it. But then again, it is. You can't. You. This you can a, do whatever you want. So yeah, take it is that. Free, it, it is a free country, and you could say like whatever you want. And if people hate on you, then let them hate on you. And you just have to ignore. And you need to know your your own value. And you need to know you're With, better yeah. and bigger than that. And not only that, a uh, uh, important lesson I learned from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. You know, like Zach and that's like my favorite TV show. show. Anyway. With freedom comes responsibility, and like when you're younger, you always wanted what to be deal? free, so you can do whatever you want. But with our freedom, you also have more work yeah, like in I'm, other areas. In we're school. both teenagers now, and like I'm starting to feel like okay. Well, as you get older, yes, it might be funny, might have a lot more like freedom, but again, with that, you have so much responsibility. And school, you. and like Especially other with work. School work. You barely even notice these <laughs> freedoms. So yeah, and but, like right now for us, we're balancing school, friends, life, like we're. Legitimate, we found so much stuff. Plus, on top of that, we have this podcast. But if 
But doing a podcast is our choice, so if we get like kind of stressed out about it, yeah. it's like, kind of our fault. We know no, our boundaries. And we that. know our boundaries, and we know when to push them and not to. And this podcast is for fun, honestly. Like, as you can tell, we're just like talking. Yeah. Nothing serious. I mean, yeah, I mean my... again, we sometimes, we, everyone sometimes has to listen to their own oh, advice. Right. Like, we just recorded like three episodes in a row, and maybe now we're going to take a break. So, and yeah. One more. <laughs> you might record one more. No, no. not. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that is it for this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to live, laugh, and learn. learn. We'll this see whole episode is basically the quote, so. <laughs> okay. So, so, there's no quote of the week, but I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Don't forget to live, laugh, and learn. Bye.